Hello students, we shall now learn the properties of falsifications based on the extension principle. Theorem. So let f be a function from x to y, be an arbitrary crisp function. Then for any fuzzy set a i, where i represents an index element of capital I, which is an element of set of all fuzzy sets under the universal set x. And any fuzzy set B i, which is an element of set of all fuzzy sets under the universal set y. The following properties of functions obtained by the extension principle hold. Now here we have properties under this extension principle. That is, the first uh, you could see that there are 10 properties so which has been listed here. Now we shall prove these properties one by one. Let us see what does the first property say. The first property says that f of a is equal to phi if and only if a is equal to phi. This property says that a null set will be mapped on to a null set only. So let us see the proof of this property now. The first property says that f of a is equal to phi if and only if a is equal to phi. So now let us prove this property. So first let us assume that. So first let us assume that f of a is equal to phi. So because we have if and, on, if and only if condition here. First let us assume this. And we shall prove this. So, first let us assume that f of a is equal to phi. So, now we can consider this for one particular value. That is f of a of y. So, for one particular y we are considering this. So, that will be equal to 0. The reason is f of a is equal to phi. It is a null set. And so, f of a of y will be equal to 0. That is the membership grade of y with respect to the fuzzy set f of a is equal to 0 for all y an element of capital Y. Now, by the extension principle, what do we have? We have that f of a of y is equal to supremum of a of x where x is such that y is equal to f of x for all a an element of f of x. So let us write that now. So this implies that supremum of a of x where x is such that y is equal to f of x is equal to 0 for all x an element of capital X. So now uh, uh, from this we can say that because supremum of a of x is equal to 0. So we observe that a of x will be equal to 0 for all x an element of capital X. So now if a of x is 0 that is the membership grade of x with respect to the fuzzy set a is 0. Then definitely uh, if all the elements has the membership grade 0 then a will be a null set. So a will be equal to 5. So we started with f of a is equal to phi and we have proved that a is equal to phi. In a similar way, we can prove the converse part also. So, I will just show the proof of the converse now. Now, here we have the proof of the converse. Let us uh, Now, let us assume that a is equal to phi and we have to prove that f of a is equal to the null set phi. So, if a is equal to phi, we can write the membership grade a of x to be equal to 0 for all x an element of capital X. Now, if we take the supremum of it, it will also be equal to 0 definitely for all x an element of capital X. And this supremum can be replaced by using the extension uh, principle where uh, f of a of y is equal to 0 for all y an element of capital Y. And if for all y it is 0 in general, we can write that f of a is equal to the null set phi. So, hence we have proved the converse also. So, therefore, we have proved that uh, f of a is equal to phi if and only if a is equal to phi. 
so the proof of first property is done now we shall prove the second property now what does the second property say if a1 is a subset of a2 then f of a1 is a subset of a2 i mean f of a1 is a subset of f of a2 so now let us prove this so we shall prove this now so first let us take a1 to be a subset of a2 then by the concept of fuzzy subset because we know that a1 is a fuzzy set a2 is a fuzzy set so this is a, a subset in the concept of fuzzy set uh, we know that the membership grade of a1 will be lesser than or equal to the membership grade of a2 so if you see the previous definitions which i have already given you will understand this so if a1 is a subset of a2 then the membership grade of the uh, of an element with respect to the fuzzy set a1 will be lesser than or equal to the membership grade of that element with respect to the fuzzy set a2 for all x an element of capital x now we shall take supremum on both sides with respect to x so supremum of a1 of x for x such that y is equal to f of x will be lesser than or equal to supremum of a2 of x for x such that y is equal to f of x for all x an element of capital x so by the definition of extension principle we can write the supremum of a1 of x as f of a1 of y is lesser than or equal to f of a2 of y for all y an element of capital y so now if these two are fuzzy sets and if this membership grade is lesser than or equal to this we can say that f of a1 is a subset of f of a2 so hence we have proved the second property also so first we assumed this and we have proved this hope you have understood the proof of this property also